I'm going to show you how to create a custom keyboard layout or a keyboard map or just a custom keyboard in Windows 10. We're going to download the Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator 1.4 and I'll post a link in the comments. Now that's successful. We're going to do a little keyboard setting before we get started. I'm going to go to the Windows settings. There's probably multiple ways to get here, but time and language, region and language, additional settings at the bottom, change input methods, advanced settings. Check this. Use keyboard language bar when it's available. If you want to have to set it for each app, you can do that, but I tried that. I didn't like it. So let's close this. Now I can close this. We're going to launch our app. I'm going to search for keyboard layout. Just I just typed L-A-Y. Launch it. I'm going to load an existing keyboard. I'm going to scroll down, select US, hit OK. What I want to do is I'm going to change my shift period, which is the greater than sign. I'm going to switch it to a dot com. So this is just an example. You can do whatever you want. So I'm going to right click and choose properties for the period in all shift states. I'm going to change this to dot com. And notice as soon as I leave that cell, it changes it to the correct keyboard characters. And now I'm going to save source file as. I'm going to create it. Um, it's US custom. I'm going to type com. Now I already have done this, so I'll have to replace it, I believe. File name, com. Okay, now, project, build DLL and setup package. Does it very quickly. And now you see it's building it, packaging it, open it, run it, run your setup file. Little security shield pops up. Click on yes to accept it. It says it's successful. Now notice I have two keyboards. The first time I did this, it didn't appear until I restarted. So if you don't see your new keyboard, just restart your computer. Now we can experiment. Regular keyboard, period, period, shift, period. My new keyboard, period, period, shift, period. Very nice. And since I started with my US keyboard, all the other keys should be the same. That's basically it. And I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.